Jerry Taft, Realtor and Personal Real Estate Corporation. I'm licensed with Mountain Town Properties and I'm based in Avermere, BC. And let's talk about some stats and statistics uh, for the beginning of December. So looking for all of this year so far, 2024, year to date, and, uh, and what the month of November brought. So uh, when we look at November of this year compared to November of last year, we're pretty similar. 32 sales this year compared to 34 back in 2023 which is also pretty similar to 2022. Now, of course, when you go back to 2021 and 2020, the volume was quite a bit higher. And uh, so when we look at the year to date so far for this year, we are at about 461 sales year to date. Um, and this is Canal Flats to Spill a Machine. So the whole valley, including Invermere and Windermere and Panorama. Um, and that compares to 480 in 2023. So we're down a little bit. Um, and then of course in the peak of 2021, there was 877 sales. So compared to that period, the volume is considerably less. There's a lot less sales happening, less listings, especially of uh, the type of homes and properties that people are looking for. And, uh, but what's interesting is prices really have not gone down. They've actually, um, you know, they kept going up through that period of 2021, 2022, 2023, and they have maybe reached a point of uh, sort of being at a flat, um, but we really have not seen prices go down, um, which is not something that other regions of Canada can really say. Um, and even the price, uh, sort of the percentage of sale price to list price is actually very consistent this year um, compared to last year. So we're looking at 93.96% of uh, the list price for selling prices, and that's compared to 94.62 of uh, last year. Um, so again, very similar. And uh, what got my curiosity was to look back further before COVID and what was the sales volume before. So when we look at 2019, um, for the whole year, we were at 409 sales. Um, and in 2018, it was 440. And 2017, it was 443. So we're maybe slightly above those numbers when you factor in what sales may occur in December. Um, but we're pretty similar in a way. So if anything, we've gone back to some seasonal norms, um, some slower periods through uh, the shoulder seasons, um, some busy periods in the spring and the summer. Um, and so that leads me to the predictions here. What is going to happen um, for the rest of this year and into 2025? And uh, the consistent trend is very few homes for sale in Invermere. And uh, we're, we don't have a lot of inventory, especially for the nicer homes, um, the Castle Rock and the newer stuff, even Lakeview Meadows, uh, Cabins in Windermere, Timber Ridge, all of that is very, very low selection. And what we're actually have uh, very little homes in that sort of 700,000 to million price range. There are some options below 700,000, which generally needs some renovation, needs some work. And there's some options above a million, um, especially when you get above 1.5. Um, it is a lot slower. There's not that many of those homes selling. Um, and so it's an interesting uh, market to kind of see that some of the stuff uh, below 600,000 is slow and the stuff over a million is slow, but there is a sweet spot in between, um, which is what a lot of people are looking for. And that is both for full-time families moving here, but also in some cases for second homes and people looking for a cabin. So it's uh, very interesting to see these trends. And uh, for myself, I was very lucky of the 32 sales in November this year. Uh, seven of those were mine. I was able to represent four families on our purchases of different homes and I had three of my listings sell as well. So I'm really happy to have uh, seven sales out of those 32. And uh, if you're looking for any advice, you're thinking about listing in the spring, um, if you want to uh, connect, I'd be more than happy to have a conversation and, and talk to about real estate in the Valley. Thank you very much.